Hi everybody, this is Allison from Fanshawe Pioneered Village. Today we are in a little bit of a different space, but I do still have a quilt behind me as a lovely backdrop. Uh, today I am making this video from home. So today I'm working from home, so I'm breaking with you along with me. We are going to make a rag doll today. Um, so you will need a couple of things, not very many. These are things that you should be able to find at home pretty easily. Um, you can use all different kinds of materials, but the things that I'm going to be using today, so we have a rag, so you can use any kind of rag. These ones are um, more or less rectangular, but they are not very long rectangular, so it's not as long, too, too long. Um, square works perfectly well. It works better sometimes, so it all just depends on uh, your artistic uh, impression of what you want your rag doll to look like. Uh, you need some yarn or some string. Uh, if you have them, you can also use elastics uh, to help you make the body. Uh, today, to make them a little bit harder, uh, early settler children would have had, we are going to use some stuffing to make the head. So I have don't have cotton balls at home, but I do have little face scrubbies. So if someone in your house has little face scrubbies, you can use those, but you can use anything. And I'll give you a couple of different options of ways that you can do it. So first we'll make it more of a little bit of a traditional way. Uh, we'll make one way I'll make a girl, one way I will make a boy. Um, and then we'll see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm going to take my rag. And what I need to do is I'm going to fluff up my cotton face scrubbies so that I can make them kind of into batting for the head. So I have one and I have two. I'm only using two because of the fact of how big my rag is, but that's okay. Whatever you have, you don't have to make a make batting for the head, but you can. So I have my batting here. What you want to do is place it sort of in the middle of your rag, and you're going to flip it over. Fold it over. You can adjust it as you go, but then you have a bit of a head. So it kind of looks like um, one of those ghosts you might have seen people put up. Uh, in trees at Halloween or um, that they normally make with like plastic bags. Uh, so there we go, your step number one. So now that we have this, we have to tie off the head. So I have my yarn here. Remember if you are using scissors to make sure that you either have some safety scissors or if you have to use sharper scissors that you're asking someone to help you if you are looking for um, out an adult. So I have my string. I'm going to tie it around the base of the neck of my doll. To hold it in. Two. Because remember, if we use a rectangle or a square, there are four corners on those shapes. So you want to pick one of the four corners, so just like this, one. And you wanna tie another tie, kind of where the shoulder would be if this was your doll's arm. So we'll get another piece of yarn. And we'll tie it on. one arm. Now we got to pick another arm. So we're going to take another corner. Can be probably the best is the diagonal corner to do that. So I have one, two, three left. This is the one that is diagonal or across from the other arm I made. So we're going to pick that up and we're going to tie it just like we did the first one. I want to tie it on. See, look, here's the tag. Because these are things that the pioneers would have used whatever they had, 
they would probably be reusing things. So maybe somebody had a handkerchief and they decided that they were going to lend it to one of the, the kids in their family. Or maybe it was the kid's handkerchief and they just wanted to have a little game for a while. So they made their handkerchief into a doll. So here's this. We're going to squeeze these ties up so they're more a little bit like shoulders. Now, you can either leave your doll kind of like this, or if you'd like, you can make it so that your doll has legs. So this one is almost like your doll has a dress, okay? But you can make it so that your doll has legs as well. So if you want to do it that way, you want to put a rope or a string around their middle, where their tummy would be, where their waist is. So you're going to pull out another string, just like that, and you wrap it around their waist, kind of like their belt. belt so then we have a person so then here we go here are their legs but we don't want their legs to go stuck together so let's put a little tie around their ankles like that this would be kind of like having boot cuffs on oh this is probably far too long do not need to be that long so let's cut this in half then we have one for each leg Tie. Oh, upside down. Must be an acrobat. I'm going to tie around one leg. There's one. Then we'll tie it around the other leg. Perfect. So now we have a Ray doll person. Now, the next part, as I said, is completely up to your personal preference. A lot of Pioneer shirts had sort of billowy arms. So mine are even a little tight, but certain time periods, because my time, my shirt is from later in our time period, so more towards um, the start of World War I and of, or beginning of the 1900s. But if you're going earlier, sometimes their sleeves were very poofy and voluminous. They had lots of volume to them. So you could leave their arms like this, but you can, if you'd like, you can tie off around their wrists as well to make them have a little bit more definition on their arms. So here's a tie. Tie it around their wrist. of our rag doll. And then just one more wrist. One more string. And just like that, I have my rag doll. Okay. Now, my rag doll's wearing pants. But remember I said we don't have to have our rag doll wearing our pants. If we want our rag doll to be wearing a dress or a skirt, we can do that as well. So I have another rag here that we can try a different way. Now this time I used, did things a little bit more traditional. This time I'm going to do things more like if I was going to do them at home and I just wanted to do really, really quickly. And I'm going to use things that I had in my bathroom. So I have a scrunchie. So the scrunchie is going to be the batting that I use for my head of my doll this time instead of using my cotton because remember good pioneers reused everything. So if I wasn't using this today and I wanted to put batting into the top of my doll I could do that. So I can put the batting into my doll's head just like that. Now I need to put a tie on here. Well don't I just happen to have a thing of hair elastics? So we'll wrap this around our doll's 
neck here. Very quick, just like that. Fluff open the doll's head. Now, if I want my doll to wear a dress, I'm going to pick the longest sides to be down. So I'm going to find the two shortest corners. So here's one, and we'll put an elastic around where my doll's shoulder would be again. Just like this. Wrap it around, just like that. Where's my other short corner? Oh, here it is. Wrap it around the shoulder again. Just like this. There's our arms. And we have the start of our doll. And we'll just give her, or him, whoever is wearing this dress or this skirt, a waist. So, there we have it. We have ourselves, whoop, we have ourselves two rag dolls. So now, my rag dolls here, remember, we said that good pioneers, they reuse things. So, when you're done playing with your rag doll, you can take them apart and use them for other things. So these ones I would take apart, these are my rags, I'll use them again for whatever I need cleanup for. Or if I am outside gardening, I could use it as a way to dab my forehead. Don't necessarily need that today. It's cool outside. But in the summertime, if I'm doing my gardening, I might want a rag to do that. So I have two rag dolls here and they can be friends with each other. So I'm gonna sit them down with me. And you can do whatever with your rag dolls. You can play a game, you can do anything. But you know, all of this social distancing has me a little bit, a little bit lonely. So I would like a big friend for me. So you can make these any size. So these are little rag dolls. You can make them if you have a big piece of fabric, um, as big as you like. So I'm gonna make myself a friend of a rag doll right now. So I have these ones. Ouch. I'm gonna push back my chair here. And I'm going to grab a sheet from my bed. So I would like my rag doll to have a head. So let's cannibalize my studio. Here's a uh, my quilt. I'm going to put the quilt in the middle approximately of my sheet. Just like that. Oh, I only have so many. Put it in the middle. I only have so many hair ties. So let's reuse this one like a good pioneer. Have an extra one here. So we're going to tie on this one. this through just like this I have a great big ghosty rag doll I would like my rag doll to have some arms so I need to make a shoulder so here is shoulder just like that take my other corner just like this take out my next hair tie just like that and now my right doll friend needs a waist so I'm gonna put one more down this way. So now I have a right 
doll friend to keep me company. And we can play with our little rag dolls together. So this one's for you, my friend. This one's for me. Now we can go and play a game. I hope everybody has a really good morning, and I will see you this afternoon for a story. Have a great morning.